What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna break down what a one-way open relationship is and how you can get into one as well. Alright, so let's start off by explaining what exactly is a one-way open relationship. And it's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a relationship where you have the option of hooking up with other girls, but your girlfriend does not have the option of hooking up with other dudes. So you might be thinking, okay, like why would you get into something like this? I think the benefits are pretty obvious. You basically get the best of both worlds. You get a girl who's committed to you, and you're committed to her emotionally, but sexually you have the option. A lot of guys have a real hard time with pure monogamy, right? Because we're kind of evolutionally wired to spread our seed, right? That's just kind of how we evolved. Monogamy isn't really natural. Some men are capable of it, uh, but a lot of men are not, and they have a hard time with it. And the problem with that is when they suppress their urge to hook up other chicks, one of two things is gonna happen. One is they're gonna cheat, or two, they're gonna be miserable and they're gonna build resentment. Neither one of those things is good. Cheating obviously is violating in terms of a relationship, and you know, basically building resentment is gonna cause you to dislike the other person, it's gonna cause fights, it's not a good thing either way. So what's the solution here? Well, the solution, as I mentioned, is one-way monogamy, right? You have the option of hooking up with other chicks, but she only hooks up with you. So why is that important? Well, for some guys, it's not. Like when I talked to Destiny, he said he does not give a fuck about his girlfriend hooking up with other dudes, right? And I legitimately believe him. Some dudes just really don't give a fuck, right? And if that's the case, then you can just be in a regular open relationship. But a lot of guys like me don't like the idea of their girlfriend being railed by another dude. It's just something about it's just a little unsettling for me, right? So that's where this comes in. Now, for a long time, I used to think that one-way open relationships weren't sustainable because resentment wasn't going to build on the girl's part. But then I had a little bit of an epiphany about half a year ago when I realized that it's not about fairness, it's about needs being met. So long as your girlfriend's needs are being met and your needs are being met, that's all that matters. As long as you can have both parties having their needs met, right, and not suppressing some urge, then you're not going to have the resentment. So a one-way open relationship is possible if done correctly. So which leads us to the next step is how do you set up a one-way open relationship? So the first step is in partner selection. I'm gonna be honest, this is not gonna work with every girl. Some girls are just too jealous, which is why if you want a one-way open relationship, one-way monogamy, you have to pick a girl who's not jealous, who's pretty open-minded, who's down with shit. Now she doesn't have to be like some hippy dippy, you know, super liberal chick who's super open to everything. No, it can work with pretty your average girl again, but she can't be super jealous. So the first step is partner selection. The second step is building investment in the relationship itself. So I like to start off by just having casual sex, hooking up for a period of time. Me and Addy did that for about a year before we move things forward. Forward, right and that builds investment in the relationship right if you bring this up on the second or third date like you guys are just getting to know each other like yeah by the way I want a one-way open relationship right the girls gonna be like what the fuck right there's no investment in the relationship so you have to get that investment first and then step three is as cliche as it sounds communication putting your cards on the table communicating your needs and wants and how you do that is basically say listen uh, I really like you I want to be in a relationship with you I know myself I'm not capable of monogamy. I don't want to be in a position where I either cheat on you or build resentment. Uh, you know, I want us to be on a sure footing. So, you know, I know I'm capable of, I'm not capable of monogamy. However, uh, I'm not comfortable with the idea of you hooking up with other guys. It just bothers me. So that's kind of where I'm at. And what I would like is a one-way open relationship. And then you give her the option. She has the option to decide, right? And a lot of girls are gonna go along with it. Again, if she's invested, she's an open-minded girl, uh, why would she not? As long as her needs are being met sexually and emotionally, a lot of girls are gonna be cool with it. But also, you wanna give her an element of control. So that's having rules in the relationship. Like, it's not a total free-for-all. If I go out on a bunch of dates with a chick, or I start going on trips with a chick, that's actually gonna be cheating according to the terms of our relationship, right? So I have the sexual option to hook up with other chicks, but I can't just be dating other girls, right? Because my girlfriend has emotional exclusivity with me, right? And when you give her rules like that, you suggest, okay, what what rules would you like to have? What parameters do you want to have in our dynamic? That gives her an element of control, so she feels like it's not a total one-way street, and that's going to be way more likely to work out long-term. So I think that is the last step, is introducing elements of control. You also want to make sure you keep your sex life interesting, right? You want to, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, do some role plays, you know, get some BDSM, maybe introduce another girl into the relationship, who knows? Like, you want to make sure you keep things interesting. I think the mistake a lot of guys in the manosphere make is... They just assume that they get this inherent right to be in a one-way open relationship. Well, I'm a man, I'm not capable of monogamy, so it's just assumed that the girl is gonna you know, be down with that. But that's not really a good way to do it, because a lot of girls are just gonna balk at that. They're just gonna be like, fuck you, like, get the fuck out of here, right? It's much better to you know, build investment and then give her the options. Put your cards on the table. Again, uh, you're saying, listen, like, 
It might not be the fairest thing in the world, I understand, but this is just what my needs are. And you know, if you want to go along with it, that's awesome. If not, I totally understand, respect your decision. And when you frame it like that, a lot of girls are gonna be cool with it. All right, hope you guys found this video valuable and show us some love by smashing the like button, hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notification. That way I know you guys are in a one-way open relationship with me and that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, until next time.